Mountains. And as if post-game fireworks and a picture-perfect night weren't enough of an incentive to head downtown this evening, Toledo with a chance to take four of six from Louisville. Just an absolutely beautiful night at the ballpark. Got to start him young in the first. Louisville wasting no time. Man on for Jose Barea. Base hit into the right center gap. Tyler Naquin scores easily. Barrera in with a triple. He would later score on a sacrifice fly. Toledo down two after the first inning. Move to the third. Jamie Westbrook had a big hit last night. A big hit tonight. Liner to left. A home run his seventh of the year. Westbrook goes three for five. Hens down just one run. But in the next half inning, the bats get that run right back. Stuart Fairchild off the big screen and left. His sixth puts Louisville up three to one. Now, Akil Badu homered twice last night for Toledo. Tonight, doing more damage in the seventh, signaling to center. That's going to bring in Westbrook. Toledo down 3-2. Then the eighth inning, Louisville breaks it open. Bases loaded, two down. TJ Friedel drives in a pair, part of a three-run frame. Bats leading 8-2, but give Toledo credit. Hens would respond. In the home half, two on for Zach Short. Base knocking to left. Josh Lester scores. Kerry Carpenter would ground into a fielder's choice, scoring up Brendan Davis. So it's a two-run game. Later in the eighth, Jacob Robson proves he's a steely-eyed missile man. The Maple Hammer with a clutch two-out hit. Toledo down 6-5. We are mounting the comeback. In the ninth, the Hens get a runner on third with one down, but could not get him in. Toledo falls 6-5 to wrap up the homestand. As Matt Melzek and the festively dressed Jim Weber tell us, it was a game that could have gone either way for either team. All right, thanks once again out here at Fifth Third Field. Uh, Jim, this game boiled down to a couple of things. Early in the game, Mud Hens were able to work around some really challenging situations. Louisville could have easily been way up in this game. They held in, and then later in the game, the Mud Hens had the opportunities. They just couldn't drive in all the runs. Yeah, late in the game, you know, it's a three to two game. You're right there. The bats score three, and you're thinking, oh boy. And then the Mud Hens come right back with three of their own and had the tying run at third when the game ended. You know, you mentioned too during the broadcast how many times the bats left people at third base. So that's uh, part of that magic you were talking about that kept them in the game until the very end. Yeah, it certainly did. It gave them an opportunity although they come up short today on this contest, but this was a, a whale of a baseball game today. Yeah, and Jamie Westbrook wound up with three hits. Akil Badu had three hits. He's getting hot right now. But uh, again, uh, just one of those games that's tough to lose, but somebody's gonna win, somebody's gonna lose. That's right, and Akil Badu might be the hottest of them all. 13 for his last 23 at the plate. Josh Lester had a chance to extend his hitting streak, but finally uh, went 0 for tonight. So we'll hope he can start one back up because he's been pretty hot with the long ball. Yeah, so the Mud Hens finish up this 12-game homestand 6-6. Six 6-6, and six. Six and six, yep. They split both of the series with Scranton and also with Louisville as they'll head on the road for the next two series off to Omaha and St. Paul before coming home after the All-Star break to take on Columbus.